So for this problem, it says y equals 1 half x squared. And what they want us to do is they want us to define the vertex. They want us to find the directrix, find the focus, right? And those are the main two important points that we've been talking about for our parabolas, that focus directrix, right? Because that's what makes up the parabola, that equidistance. And then also, we need to uh, just, uh, I think, sketch a graph of the problem. So what we're going to work in, um, so for this problem, the first thing I want to do, and if you guys just want to write down these steps, these will be very helpful when we're doing this. And the one thing you guys got to remember is a parabola, we've usually just been working with parabolas that, are, that have been um, vertical, that have a, horse, um, that have a uh, vertical axis of symmetry. Well, now we're also going to be working with horizontal um, parabolas as well. So number one, the first thing we need to do is determine if we're going to have a vertical or horizontal um, axis of symmetry or parabola. So axis of symmetry. So if I look at this, I notice I have an x squared, right? And I have a linear y. So I'm going to go and look at my forms that we wrote down. And we say, all right, well, which one of those has the x squared? So when I look up there, I have x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. That means I'm going to have a, this problem is going to be dealing with a vertical axis, right? So that means my axis of symmetry is going to be a vertical line meaning my parabola is going to equal open up or it's going to open down. All right, but it's going to have a vertical axis of symmetry. Wait, how do you know that? How do I know it for my problem? Yeah. Because I have an x squared. Oh. All right, and so we look at what happens with, what's our vertical axis? What's our standard um, equation for a, a parabola that has a vertical axis? Right? So the first thing I want to do is just determine if it's horizontal, um, horizontal or vertical. Why do I need to determine that? Because there's two different formulas, right? There's one for our vertical and there's one for our horizontal. The next thing I need to do, which I just did, is write the standard equation. So a lot of students always want to default to one or the other. It's important for you guys to notice first off and just write it down. Hey, this is going to be a vertical parabola. It's either going to open up or it's going to open down, but I know it's going to be a vertical um, parabola. It's going to have a vertical uh, axis of symmetry. All right. So now what we need to do is we write the equation. All right. So now I know what I need to look at. Does this problem look anything like this one? No, it doesn't. So what I want to do is, um, I'm sorry, I want to write that in the form so it looks like, so it looks exactly like that, all right? So what I'll do is I'll say y equals 1 half x squared. So let's put the x over there on the squared, so let's um, swap these around. So therefore I'll have a negative 1 half x, oops, sorry. Let's just swap these out so I have x, 1 half, x squared equals y, right? And then there's nothing always in front of there, so let's get rid of this 1 half. So what I'll do is uh, multiply by the reciprocal. So therefore, I have x squared equals 2y. <coughs> Everybody follow me so far what I did? So far, yeah. Okay. Now, for the purposes of this problem, just since this is our initial problem, I want you guys to understand that our h and k are 0. So I could write it like this, x minus 0 squared equals 2 times y minus 0 squared. We are going to have problems where our vertex, our h and our k, okay, our vertex, which I have written up there, vertex is h comma k. We are going to have problems where our h and our k are going to be numbers, okay? Where yes. Are you so are you going to tell us that it, they know? Huh? Yeah, and when you have a problem, you'll be able to notice when there's when you have different vertex. But for right now, I'm just writing it so it looks exactly like this problem. All right. What's different? Square on the same. You put a square, see? Yeah, but I want to try the other one. No, the second one. Yeah, on both sides. Oh, right side. 
Sorry. Um, yeah, I was just kind of getting it. So yeah, you have two times your y minus zero. Thank you, Hunter. I appreciate it. Um, so now the next thing is this two. What does the two represent? The two is this number equals that four p, right? Yeah. So what I can say that is two equals four p. So what exactly is my p? Well, y by four. Half. Half. P equals one half. half. So what I have is x minus zero squared equals four times one half times y minus zero. <coughs> now, do I have every single component? Uh, like I said, I plug in numbers that looks exactly like my standard equation. Do I have all the components now? Yeah, I do. All right. So let's just. So then, all I'm going to do now is. So I wrote in standard form. And now I'm just going to. Um, I'm sorry. This number is in the spot of this 4p, right? So 4p equals that. So you just write 4p equals that number that you're multiplying by your y. So I solve for p to get p equals 1 half. And the reason why I want to do that because I want to know what p is, and I'll explain why in a second. So the first thing is our vertex. Vertex, remember, is your hk. It's 0, 0. You guys don't need to write the x minus 0, the y minus 0. But I wanted to show it to you, at least for this first problem, so you can see that you're going to have 0, 0 as your vertex. All right? If you already have it in this form, you can just say, hey, oh, all right, you know, you're not minusing anything, so it's 0, 0. Right? The next thing is we need to figure out what the focus is. So the one thing with our problem is we now we know it's a vertical we know it's a uh, vertical parabola with a vertex at 0, 0. So my parabola either goes up or it opens down. All right? And without even doing any kind of thinking, let's look at, take a look at what is our, um, what, how are we going to figure out our focus. Our P is <coughs> 1 half. And what exactly is, um, what does P represent? P represents your distance from your vertex to your focus. And it also represents the distance from your vertex to your directors. So if my P is a positive 1 half, that means I have to go up, right? So then could it be possibly this parabola? Could that be my no. parabola? No. Because P is 1 half, so it has to go up. And before, for what? Before is for what? I'm sorry? Before. Four. Before. Four times one half. Yes. That's just part of the formula. Your P, though, is four times P. P is the distance from your vertex to your focus. Okay? And here's how we figure out um, your vertex. I should probably write out the formulas for you. Your vertex is H comma K, which in this example was zero, zero. Okay, your focus for a focus for a vertical parabola is h comma k plus p. All right, and that's for a vertical one because obviously it's going to be dealing um, vertically, which in this case is going to be zero comma one half. And then the last one, the directrix. All right is going to be y <coughs> equals k minus p, which equals y plus y zero. Negative one half. It's not directrix is not a point. Our focus is a coordinate point. Our directrix is a horizontal line in this case. Because remember, our directrix is just the distance. It's going to be automatically just whatever it is from your focus, that distance makes up all your points. These distances are the same. Okay? So from your focus to any point on the parabola, back down to the directrix is always going to be the same. All right? So now I've determined what the vertex, the focus, and the directrix is. You guys can see my, my focus is at 0, 1 half. 
My directrix is y equals negative 1 half, and my vertex is at 0, 0. So now I've just completed just a rough sketch of those kind of three important so points to make my graph. Yes? So the directrix is going to be the same as p, but in the other way opposite? It's the distance from your vert. p is your distance from your p is the distance from your vertex to your focus and to your directrix. Oh. Okay. So what we're doing when it's vertically, if you're adding p to find the focus, then you have to subtract p to find the directrix, and it'd be the other way around if my if my parabola was facing downwards. But does everybody see? Does anybody have any questions on the beta following the rules? Yes. These are just as means distance one, distance two. I didn't get this. I just sketched the parabola. I'm just using the D1 to explain the parabola. I didn't use that to graph it. I just kind of, the only thing I did was I just showed you, I graphed this just based on our three points. So I didn't, use, I didn't like right. actually pull it. what about that point that was up there on the side? What about it? What, what, what is that? <laughs> I was just explaining that it doesn't matter what point I pick on the parabola. The distance from any point on the parabola, it doesn't matter where I pick it, it's going to be that distance to the focus is the same distance to that to the directrix. So it doesn't matter where it is on the parabola. That's all I was doing explaining. Okay. Does anybody have any other questions on that? No? 